Oh, time to test out these new wings. Holly, what are you doing? It's okay, Hookie. I've got these new wings, and I am a tower. Wait, no, Holly! Your joints are lime! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Recap Review. Today we're looking over set number 8914, Koamari Holly. The set contains approximately 59 pieces, was released in the summer of 2007, and the time of release was approximately $10. Uh, my, my, Holly, you look so... Okay, come on. Points to anybody who gets that reference. Similar to Mantax, same vein guys. Come on, a lot of you didn't get that last time. But, either way, Holly is definitely different now, and boy, that shows a very, very different looking set as compared to her prior form, which brings us to our first point of discussion. See, this is Holly of 2007, Toamari Holly of 07, and this is the other Holly, since this is a lineage of sets, Toa and Nika Holly. And as we can see, we do have quite a few differences, not really in the legs, similar to Toamari Jala, the limbs are very similar to her prior counterpart. Her legs are in the exact same design, and her arms are almost the exact same design except for the lower arms. That's kind of an interesting design choice. It's very similar, but so it's, it's slightly recognizable. The main difference comes in the color scheme, specifically that Halimari has ditched the blue and white meld for a straight-on navy blue and lime green. Oh, wait, do you hear that? Yep, it's groans, shrieking, crying, horror. Yep, I think I see a Bionicle fan off in the corner trying to repress some memories. We'll get to that in a moment. She's also changed her weaponry. As far as the blaster goes, we have the secondary blaster of 2007, as opposed to the primary blaster of 2006. And instead of a harpoon that lights up, we have a protosteel talon, a three-bladed weapon, which looks very menacing. The greatest thing, the most obvious thing you're going to notice from Holly Mari are her wings. Now, technically, these are supposed to be fins, but, you know, we're kind of on land and they look very much like wings. How do you think that works? Because fins are very, you know, flappy things. So do they just kind of droop the entire time she's on land, or are they made out of proto steel and they just do whatever they want? I don't know. We'll find out. As far as the masks are concerned, instead of the. Oh, come on, I remember it. Elda? I'm going to go with Elda. Mask of stuff. Oh goodness, you're gonna give me a hard time for this, aren't you? We have the Faxon, the Mask of Kindred, which allows Holly to copy any Rahi ability in her near vicinity. So that's very interesting. The torso is also different as opposed to the standard Anika torso. We have a recolored Paraka torso. So that's kind of a, a different change. But that pretty much sums up all the changes. That has been the comparison. Let's get on with the actual set. Now, disclaimer time. Just because a pro or con is here doesn't necessarily mean I agree with it or it is my opinion. What I do is one of two things. I either A, bring up a point of a pro or con based on a hands-on observation I have seen here, or B, I am bringing up a point of pro or con based on something I have seen from another community member or several community members over the several years this set has been out and released. So, just because it's here doesn't necessarily mean it's my opinion or I agree with it. I will let you make up your own minds. Unless I explicitly say, of course. With that said, let's get on with the review. Starting with the pros. Right off the bat, the standard amount of articulation would definitely be a pro. Three in the legs, three in the arms, and one in the head. And we have an additional two on her back due to her fins. And that's really nice to see. Another pro would be the various recolors. Specifically the feet in a solid metro blue. The shoulder armor in another solid metro blue. Her legs in solid metro blue. Uh, what else? No, I think that's pretty much about it. We've got a lot of solid metro blue pieces, which is really nice to see. Now the pro would be the new pieces, specifically the fin piece, which looks very fin-like, almost very organic. 
We have the new Kordak Blaster, which contains six rounds, as well as the three on her back. We've got the new tube piece, and we have the new mask. We also have, as seen in New Parumari, and one other Toomari set this year. Come on, come on, get out of there. There we go. We have a new visor piece. Now this works very well since the Toomari are supposed to be kind of scuba diver themed. We have this neat little thing here. So it's, it's a really cool visor, but because of the visor, we have a longer axle on the Kanohi Faxon. We just stick that right back on there. You know, back in 2007, when everybody was like looking at preliminary photos of the Tomari, trying to figure out what the Tomari is supposed to represent animal-wise, and well, you know, all, all the Baraki had something. What about the Tomari? Maybe they were still gonna like it was still gonna go along with that whole theme. And oh my goodness, what was Nuparu? Because I totally forgot to mention it for Nuparu. I think he was supposed to be like, like the Grand Turtle or something. I really forget. But either way, I do remember that Hali was supposed to be, according to LEGO fans, the lion fish because of the giant fins and the huge spike claw thing she has here. It was, it was a lot of fun. I don't know. What do you guys think she's supposed to be? Anyway, back to the pros and cons. Pros on her color scheme. It's very, very consistent as being just solid metro blue and lime green. And that's generally about it. We do have this kind of brighter blue piece here. And we do have the red, the orange eyes, and the red from the Kordak Blaster. But overall, it's a very consistent color scheme. And that's really nice to see in a set. As I uh, mentioned prior, the new parts are very nice. Uh, the, the overall build, the look, is very solid. And that's fantastic. Another pro would be, oh yeah, did I mention this as a new piece? This new claw talon piece. Really cool. Works very, very well. Kind of awkward looking at times, but it's very usable for mocking. So, I, I like it. I personally do like it. Another pro, would I think I mentioned her mask, would be the uh, the Kordak Blaster. Now, the Kordak Blaster works as so. It's got six rounds. You take these two fingers and this thumb, put it like this, and fire away. Works very well if you can, you know, you have it in decent condition. That's really nice to see. So overall, I think that effectively sums up all the pros for Toa Hali. She's a very solid set. She looks very nice. The color scheme, while being different from her prior form, is very solid and very fluid and works very nicely. Korak Blaster, on a good day, will work quite, well, uh, quite nicely as well, and the new pieces are really great and good for mocking. Mask is also really cool to see as well, and the recolors give mockers of their fans of solid Metro Blue a great variety of pieces to use. And with that, it is now time to get on to the cons. What makes this set a little bit less worth going back to get? Let's start off by the fact that it is the standard Paraka build. The torso is almost exactly the standard Paraka build that we've seen several times before. And the limbs are all standard Anika builds. So there's not a whole lot that's going to make this set's build incredibly unique to you. And that's really a shame. A lot of people aren't going to like the color scheme because of the high contrast between the Metro Blue, which is a darker color, and the Lime Green, which is very bright. Some people are not going to be too happy about that. Another con, color scheme related as well, would be the Cordax Red. Not to mention, speaking of the color scheme, I'd like to point something out. What's that? Do you, do you see it? Do you see it? What, what, what is that? What is that, LJ? I'll tell you what that is. It's a black pin. It's a black pin on a set that doesn't need red pins. Go check out my, my Nuparu Mari review if you really want to get a, a, great, a greater amount of detail as to why I'm pointing that out, but it's significant. You should understand why. Other cons include the lime pieces. Now this is a, an issue that has been plaguing 2007 sets for as long as anybody can remember, aka 2007. The pieces from 2007 that are lime in color are incredibly brittle. You can probably even see a crack hairline fracture right there on this foot. This plagues almost all line pieces from 2007 and onward. It's very unfortunate and a definite con considering it's not exclusive to any one set. You may get lucky with some sets that have stronger pieces or you are more careful with them, but the mocking capability of those parts is close to zero. That's very unfortunate. Another con would be these wings. They do stick out and they're bright silver instead of a color that really works with the overall set. They could have very easily made this talon, which has been acknowledged to be a part of her hand, and these fins a color like lime or metro blue. 
would have worked out just the same. And with that, because it is there, we do have some gaps. As far as the tube is concerned, it will get very unusually shaped if you move the head, so you're constantly having to readjust it to make it symmetrical, which is quite a shame. Granted, you have to do that with the fins as well. And finally, in regards to cons, we have the Kordak Blaster, which sometimes it'll work. Color scheme breaking as it is, it will occasionally work as seen earlier. However, there are times where it simply will not. And that is an issue. Don't get it wet or, it, you know, the spring inside will very likely rust or you'll get some sort of mildew in there and it will just be an overall mess. But that generally covers the majority of the pros and cons of Holly, at least the ones I can think of. What do you guys think of Holly? In retrospect, the set is fairly solid and is definitely one of the better Toamari sets. While the build isn't super complicated or complex or even the most well armored, it is a very solid look and it's very consistent throughout. The new pieces are really great for mocking, the Kordak Blaster when it does work works very well, and the overall look of the set is quite nice, especially due to the lack of red pins. Unfortunately, a very great big con and almost set breaking in fact is the lime piece issue. The pieces will break, it doesn't matter how soon. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And that is the worst con for this set. And it's very unfortunate. So what do you guys think of Tomari Holly? Do you like this set? Do you not like the set? Let me know either in the comments below or on the TTV message boards. Thank you all very much for watching. And if you feel I messed up, missed something, or you feel I should have mentioned something, let me know in the two aforementioned places. Join me next week when I go over the final Tomari. So that's uh, the one who sacrificed himself. <laughs> We remembered him in all those signatures. Matoro. See you guys all next week.